first grade friends for math today we're going to do it a little bit different we're still going to do our application problem but we're going to use our dry erase boards today i felt like changing it up so dry erase boards go find them let's get ready for that dry erase boards your eraser and your marker and i'm going to help you through all of the jobs as we think about writing numbers in tens and ones four. So let's get started. Grab your dry erase board marker and big brain. Here we go. Here is my dry erase board. And I guess you don't even need it that big. And let me tell you the story today. So I want you to listen. There is Lisa and Lisa has three boxes of 10 crayons. In my brain, that means we count by 10. So let's do that on our fingers. 10, 20, 30. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a T chart like this, letter T, and we're gonna label it T for tens, O for ones, tens and ones. Here's Lisa's number. We said it was 30, right? So we put a three here and a zero here. That's the tens number, that's the ones number. And we're gonna label it L for Lisa, okay? Now Lisa's friend is Sally. So we're gonna make one for Sally. Label it S for Sally and above make the letter T. Okay, and then label it T for tens, O for ones. All right, now Sally has 19 crayons. And here I have a question afterwards. What would the 19 look like in here? Yeah, you're right. One here and nine. So one in the tens place, nine in the ones place. Here's my question. Sally thinks that she has more than Lisa. Is that true? Circle who has the most crayons right now and let's see if we both agree on, this, on the same answer. I think that Lisa has way more because 30 is bigger than 19. Did you do the same thing? You did, great, awesome work. Now we're gonna get out our green math books and our big brain and a pencil. Green math book, big brain, pencil for the next job. So I'll see you in just a moment. Finish up this work and show it to your parents or take a picture and send it to one of your teachers. Adios. <laughs> 